Prince Harry has been warned not to cross King Charles' red line by trashing the Queen consort in his memoir, a source has claimed. The Duke of Sussex tell all book spares out next week as the royal family brace for fresh revelations. But a source said the king's youngest son knows that any attacks against Camilla crosses a red line. The insider told the son, Camilla is Charles' red line. If Harry trashes her then Charles could pull the plug, and Harry knows that. Harry had a difficult relationship with Camilla, who had an affair with his father when he was still married to Diana. But attacking Camilla would not go down well among palace staff or his father, and Harry is aware. Charles will reportedly get off lightly in the hotly anticipated book, which is published by Penguin Random House on January 10, despite his fractured relationship with Harry. But the memoir, which references the phrase The Heir and the Spare with its title, is said to be tough on Prince William, with the Princess of Wales also coming under fire. A source with knowledge of the book told the Sunday Times, Charles comes out of it better than I had expected, but it's tough on William, in particular, and even Kate gets a bit of a broadside. There are these minute details, and a description of the fight between the brothers. I personally can't see how Harry and William will be able to reconcile after this. In the Sussex's recent Netflix series, Harry reserved the most criticism for his older brother, who is second in line to the throne. During the six-hour TV marathon, Harry claimed the Prince of Wales screamed and shouted at him during a summit at Sandringham in January 2020 with a late Queen and Charles shortly after he and Meghan Markle announced Megxit plans. He said, it was terrifying to have my brother scream and shout at me and my father say things that just simply weren't true. And my grandmother, you know quietly sit there and take it all in. But you have to understand that, from the family's perspective, especially from hers, there are ways of doing things and her ultimate, sort of, mission, goal slash responsibility is the institution. The Duke also claimed William's office Kensington Palace traded negative stories like his father's had in the past. Harry said it was heartbreaking to see something he and William promised they would never ever do after witnessing the fallout of such actions in Charles' office. He added, William and I both saw what happened in our dad's office and we made an agreement that we would never let that happen to our office. I would far rather get destroyed in the press than play along with this game or this business of trading and to see my brother's office copy the very same thing that we promised the two of us would never ever do, that was heartbreaking. Harry's memoir, ghostwritten by Junior Moringa, has been billed as a book of raw, unflicking honesty. An earlier press release said, Spare takes readers immediately back to one of the most searing images of the 20th century, two young boys, two princes, walking behind their mother's coffin as the world watched in sorrow and horror. As Diana, Princess of Wales, was laid to rest, billions wondered what the princes must be thinking and feeling and how their lives would play out from that point on. For Harry, this is his story at last. With its raw, unflinching honesty, Spear is a landmark publication full of insight, revelation, self-examination, and hard-won wisdom about the eternal power of love over grief. It comes as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are pursuing new lives of personal and financial freedom in the US after quitting royal duties in 2020.